Hey, what's going on, y'all? Back in the building, man. Hope everybody having a good day, um, a blessed day. Uh, this gonna be a good video. Women not gonna like this video, but it is what it is, man. Um, I don't, I preach nothing but truth. Um, all the things that I preach towards men and women, and just to the the people that watch me, period. Um, are just to edify y'all. You know, this is all truth. You know, and and all these things that I preach. And talk about our things that y'all have to hear, cause this is all coming from the the, the Royal Haku, that's the Holy Spirit. Um, this video right here is gonna be about Israelite women think they can teach and have authority over men. Yes, bro. Yes. And um, I'm gonna bring out the scripture right. This scripture right here. Um, this is in One Timothy, chapter two. Um, starting at verse nine all the way down to fourteen, right? Look, we gonna go in, we gonna get into it, y'all. Y'all check this out, right? Because a lot of women got a a huge problem with this, a huge problem with this, and um, we gonna we gonna get this together today, like me dipping this in the bud today, because y'all can't keep manipulating these scriptures, yo. Y'all can't keep flipping these scriptures and. And, and and trying to flip these scriptures to your own narrative. Y'all gotta stop that. So we're gonna start at verse nine. Cause they what they're saying is that we gonna as a matter of fact, we're gonna read it first. Verse nine it says, in like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness and sobriety, not with broided hair or gold pearls or a costly array now this whole section right here women are saying that this scripture was just for that time this is what they're saying this is for the, just for that time this is what this is the crazy madness that, it, that, it, that they're saying let me finish it though um go down to verse 11 it says let the woman learn in silence with all subjectiveness and it's talking about in the, in, in the church when, when, when men are preaching, when men are teaching, it's telling women to learn in silence with all the subjectiveness. And these modern women, especially the, the modern women that's even in the truth because they still have to breathe. They still, they, they're bringing the, the ways of the world with them into, into this life of truth. Um, want, and things that I've noticed, they don't want any authority. They don't want men to take authority over them. They don't want to learn from them. They'd rather listen to women that's that's flipping the scriptures and, and deceiving them because women, they're, they're so emotional. Women are emotional. emotional. So they, they go off emotions first before they even think logic, you know. Um, they don't want any direction from men. You know what I'm saying? So when they hear scriptures like this, they, they cringe. They be like, oh, heck no. Heck no, sub, this is subconsciously though. They, they might not know, you know what I'm saying? I give them the benefit of the doubt. They might not know, you know what I'm saying? This is how Satan does. Um, This is how Satan does. He, he the, the Bible even says he, he came down and deceived the whole earth. The whole earth. Not just some people, he deceived the whole earth. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's many people that's coming out of their graves, you know, and they're coming to the truth and, and they're opening their eyes, you know. Um, and they're not deceived anymore. You know what I'm saying? They got their full body on their arm. They're not deceived anymore. You know, and, and once you receive the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit leads you to all truth. I'm trying to tell y'all this. When you read this Bible, you can you can discern everything about this Bible. Like, it's, it's crazy. Let's, like, I always preach that we need the gift of the discernment, y'all. We need this because the gift of the discernment and also you need the Holy Spirit in general. You need that. You need the Holy Spirit. You know what I'm saying? You need your sword. The sword is the word. You know what I'm saying? So, look. Going down to verse 12, it says, But I suffered not a woman to teach, nor to ass um, assert authority over the man, but to be in silence. Women are supposed to be in silence, bro. Women are not supposed to assert third authority over men at all. That's point blank, period, man. That's period. This is what Paul is telling us. And Paul is not just no regular man. You know, this this is a, a man of the most high that Yahuwah is working through, through the Holy Spirit. Y'all gotta understand this. 
Um, then it goes to say, for Adam was first formed, then Eve, and Adam was not deceived, but the but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Now look, right? Um, in that time, it was a reason why um Yahuwah, he went to he went to Adam. You know, he went to Adam when they when he found out that they bit that fruit. He went to Adam first. He didn't go to Eve because he knows that he knows that that women are, are weaker vessels, right? He knows that. He already knew that. And as a matter of fact, we're gonna go to um oh we're gonna go to that later, as a matter of fact. We're gonna get to it. We're gonna get to it. But Yahuwah knew that that um the woman was a weaker vessel and the man is the the direct source to the most high. This is how it was from the from the beginning. The, that's why, like Yahuwah, he's all about order. You know what I'm saying? That's why the man is the head of the house. When a when a woman and a and a and a um a man they come together and they marry, the man is the head. You know, and Yahuwah he goes to the man first, bro. This is just how it is. You know, Yahuwah he's all about order. And women they they um the women that's in the truth they have a huge dis disagreement about this this verse because. A lot of them are feminists. A lot of these these women that that supposedly say they in the truth. A lot of them are feminists, and a lot of them still have hatred towards men, and they still look at black men the same way they did when they was modern women. I mean, yeah, when they was modern women, they still look at um, all men the same exact way. You know, so when they when they hear this, when they see this verse, they like, oh no, we we gonna still do what we want to do. We gonna still do what we want to do. Why? Because they haven't been delivered yet all all the way fully. They haven't been delivered yet all the way fully. Um, they're they're rebellious. These women are rebellious, just like the, the the females that's of the world. Still, they're still rebellious. You know, they don't want to listen to men at all, bro, at all. But I'm, we're bro, we killing that right now. We killing that right now, man. Um, we are gonna get into it for y'all. For y'all that's that's saying that that oh that was just for that time. We ain't gotta worry about that. Okay, well Paul has many letters. You know what I'm saying? This this whole Bible is a, is what we're supposed to be going by. This is our New Testament too, by the way. We're in the New Covenant. We're supposed to be going by this stuff. Just because it, just because Paul was teaching this back then in those times to certain people doesn't mean it's not for us as well. So we're gonna get into it, so y'all can understand, so you can get an understanding that when when Paul is saying stuff like this, this stuff is still valid. Like what the heck? So we're gonna go to um. Let's let's go down to when he's talking about the bishops, right? I'm like I'm and I'm going to to go on on, on both aspects, on both men and women, so y'all so y'all can see and understand that these things that Paul was talking to talking about to to these people and to to his son Timothy, like this stuff is still valid to this day, y'all. So look, let's go down to chapter three, um, verse two when he's talking about um the qualifications of a bishop, um uh, somebody that's that's teaching and stuff like that, right? It says, a bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife, one wife. That's it's, that's still today. Still today, we're only allowed to have one wife, y'all. This is this is what this is what Paul is saying. Why is why is he saying this? Because these are the the things that the Ruach Hakodesh told him to say, bro. Look, it says, be vigilant, be sober, which means no drunkenness. You can't be drunk. This is still today. You cannot, you cannot live in drunkenness. You, that's a sin. You can't be drunk out here. You know, um, of good behavior, given to hospitality, apt to teach, not given to wine, no striker, not greedy of filthy lacre, but patient, not a brawler, not covetous, one that ruleth well his own house. Having his children in subjection with all gravity. That sounds like today to me. That still sounds like today to me. You know what I'm saying? You can't have your kids running all over the place. You know what I'm saying? You got to have your house in order. This is still today. You know what I'm saying? So we're going we gonna to get into it, y'all. Um, I got more for y'all, though. We ain't, we're not even done yet because Paul did a, a lot of letters. He wrote a lot of letters to a lot of people. And I need y'all to see that this is still valid. 
It doesn't, it, it, like, it's not just subject to a certain time period. Because that's, that's just like saying all, so all the stuff that um, Yahushua Jesus was saying back then, you know, all throughout the New Testament, all that stuff he was saying, just because it was in that time period, it don't matter now? That's what you're saying. So y'all just picking and choosing what y'all want to follow. Picking and choosing what y'all want to flip up so y'all can just live rebellious. Y'all are crazy. Y'all women are crazy, man. Um, let's go to, we, we're going to Ephesians 5. Ephesians chapter 5, 9 through 11. Y'all check this out. 9 through 11. It says, For the fruit of the, of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth, proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. And Ephesians, this is Paul speaking to the um speaking to the Ephesians, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. This goes today too. Like all this stuff is like this this Bible is for us to learn. You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to be going by this Bible. The Bible basic instructions before leaving earth. If we if we didn't need these parts of the Bible, if if these if these parts of the Bible didn't reprove us and make us better people, then these it wouldn't even be in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Yahuwah wouldn't have even prompted Paul to even write these letters. These like bro, these these letters is in this book in this book in this Bible for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Um and then let's go, let me see. Keep reading. For it is for it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret, but all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. For whatsoever doeth make manifest is light. But look, check this out. Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. That sounds like what's still going on right now to this day. People waking up out of their graves and Yahushua's giving them light. You know what I'm saying? But but but, but oh no. That that's just for those times. Yahushua not giving nobody no light no more, guys. Girls, this is how they this how they are. Girls, Yahushua's not giving giving people no light no more. He's not doing that. That was just for those times. This is this is this is what the women are saying though. This is how they're thinking. And I hope this open your eyes, yo. Like y'all, y'all gotta stop following these doctrines of women. These are not doctrines of men. These are doctrines of women. Doctrines of devils, really, because a lot of a lot of these women are, are actually being being guided by by devils, yo. Because this this is not doctrines of you know what I'm saying of the most high. It's not. Ephe let's go to Ephesians 5 and 28. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies he that loveth his wife loveth himself so oh, oh no that's just for those times we're not supposed to love our wives anymore that's just for that for those times that was just for the times when paul was was writing letters to the ephesians that's what they're saying that's what the women are saying these these letters these letters for paul are just just for the, for those times this is what they're saying Let's go to um, chapter 6, verse 11 through 16, right? Verse 11 through 16, it says, now, this, this is very important too, especially in spiritual warfare. This is nothing but spiritual warfare. This life is nothing but spiritual. This life is not carnal. Look. Put on the, the whole armor of God. That ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. All the stuff like this. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like this. This is the wiles of the devil. Like these females that's flipping these scriptures and stuff like that. And listening to other women that's telling them this is how you interpret this scripture. This is the wiles of the devil. This is the wiles of Satan. Like this is how he does. He flips he flips scriptures in, into, his, into his own liking, into his own narrative. Just like he doing with everything else. Just like he did with the rainbow. He took the rainbow and made it. And made it gay. Like what in the world? What what else he did? He, he he does so much. He's even 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 the, the chariots of the Most High. He's even 
even duplicating that. You know what I'm saying? The government, they got their own, they got their own chariots now. They got their own UFOs. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the things that we've seen in the sky, the, the, a lot of these things are are, are, are government made. These They're making this. The CIA, they, all of them, they're, they're making these things. You know what I'm saying? This is what Satan does. So y'all, y'all, y'all can't, bro, y'all, y'all can't. Man. Anyways, bro. <laughs> Anyways, man. For we not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of Yah. But no, that's just for that time. We, we don't have to have our full body armor on, guys. That's just for that time. This is what like this is like this is what it boils down to. Like this is really what it boils down to. Like this is how y'all thinking. Like y'all can't just say say that verse. No. So y'all y'all saying everything that Paul was saying was just for that time then let's go to let's let's even go to romans and romans the book of romans um it's in a few manuscripts you know um it um the book of romans he could he could have been talking actually to the romans because it's saying that he was in rome but it's really no telling of who he was really actually talking to in rome he could have been talking to the romans um let's go to romans Seven, verse two. Let me go to seven, verse two. It says, "For the woman which hath an husband is bound by law to her husband, so long as he liveth." Which means you're bound it to your husband as long as he lives, and, and unless he dies, or um, if he commits um, adultery, you're bound to him. And it says, "But if the husband be dead, exactly what I said, she is loosed from the law." of her husband and this is this is paul talking to maybe either the romans or you know maybe even gentiles out there he was talking to them but that was just for that time you know what i'm saying like women we could they, they over there like we can we can just um divorce our husband because we're unhappy they'll flip it like that you know what i'm saying because this is how wicked these women are the bible even says there, there is no other wickedness than the wickedness of a woman Women can get very wicked. They really can. You know, and a lot of them, they don't really like the Most High. They don't like the word of the Most High. They don't. Especially the ones that go against um, what they've been learning all their lives. What goes against the, the, the modern the modern women's um, ob objectives, you know? Their mindset, you know, any, anything that's, that's of the word that goes against, you know what I'm saying, what they got going on, they hate it. They hate it, and they're going to flip it. They're going to flip it. They're going to find some type of way to flip it. Especially when it comes down to men. Especially when it's coming down to men. Right? But no, that's just for that time, though. That's just for that time. This is what the women are saying. Let's go to uh, Philippians 1. Let's go to Philippians. Philippians. Let's go to, Phil Let's go to Philippians <coughs> 1. Y'all are crazy, man. Okay, Philippians 1 and 27, it says, Only let your conversation be as it becometh the gospel of Christ, that whether I come and see you or else be absent, I may hear you, I may hear of your, if I may hear of your affairs, that ye stand fast in one spirit, with one mind, striving together for the faith of gospel. Oh no, that's just for that's just for those times though. That's just for when Paul was talking to the Philippians. 
that's just for those times. You know what I'm saying? We're we're not supposed to stand fast in the spirit, um, and, and we're we're not supposed to be under one mind. But that that they saying that these things that that Paul is saying, that was just for those times. That's basically that's this is basically what they're saying. You know what I'm saying? No, no. We are supposed to be on one mind, just like the Bible says. We're supposed to be on one mind. We're supposed to stand fast in the spirit. And this is what's going on right now. A lot of people are on one mind and one accord right now. This is what Paul was teaching. You know what I'm saying? This stuff is still valid today. Today. Let's go to Titus. Y'all women are crazy, man. Y'all got to stop this, y'all. Y'all got to stop this. This is some very wicked stuff that y'all got going on, man. Let's go to Titus 2, 1 through... 1 through 5. 2, 1 through 5. Um, look, check this out, y'all. It says, But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. What are we doing right now? What am I doing? I'm, I'm preaching sound doctrine. I'm not up here being a motivational speaker. I'm, t I'm, I'm, t I'm teaching y'all what's in the Bible. This is what's in the book that I'm teaching y'all. I'm not like Pastor T.D. Jason and Mike Todd or nothing like that. No, I'm not a motivational speaker. I'm, I'm preaching sound doctrine. And this is what Paul is telling them to do. You know what I'm saying? Well, he's, he's, he, this is a letter to his son Titus. He's, he's telling Titus to, um, to, to teach these people these things. This is what he, he's telling them, telling Titus to do. You know, um, and if, if you look at that, like, that goes for today. You know what I'm saying? You, you're supposed to be out here teaching sound doctrine. That's for today as well. That's not just for those times. Um, that the aged men be sober, grave, temperate, which means you can't be out here mad, going crazy like that. Still for today. Um, sound in faith and charity and patience. You got to have patience, especially in these last days. We got to have patience. If you follow the Most High, you got to have patience. He'll give you patience if you ask for it. Um, the aged women, likewise, that they be in behavior as become of holiness. Y'all women, that's, this is what y'all supposed to be now. You know what I'm saying? This is now as well. Not false accusers. You can't be lying on people, women. <coughs> that go, that was for then, and that's for now as well. Um, not giving too much wine. You can't be drunk out here, ladies. Um, teachers of good things. Teachers of good things. And when it's talking about teachers, it's talking about teaching, teaching other women, teaching other children. You can't be out here having authority over men. You can't be teaching teaching men because obviously it tells you that in um in one Timothy. Um let's go to three nine. Three nine it says, but avoid foolish questions and genealogies and contentions and strivings uh, um, about the law. All that um, going back and forth against the, against, uh, uh, like against the law, going and strife, going back and forth. Um, it says, for they are unprofitable and vain. Oh no, but he he's just talking about back then. It, it was just unprofitable and vain back then. Look, y'all, how many times have y'all been going back and forth with somebody on on online sometimes on on Instagram or whatever, going back and forth of, about the Most High's name? I don't I don't do this personally. Going back and forth against about his name or going back and forth against the law this is how you're supposed to do it or no that's wrong you're saying it wrong it's unfruitful you're going back and forth you're draining your energy this is for today as well y'all what paul was speaking this is this is all this is all for today as well it's not just subject to the back then oh no, it don't work like that it don't work like that because if, if that was the case, it wouldn't be in the Bible. This stuff wouldn't be in the Bible. This is all for us to incorporate in our lives now to this day. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's go to 1 Peter if I can find it. Now, this is why this is why women are not supposed to be teaching the Bible. Women are not supposed to be teaching the Bible is because... Um, they're emotional, you know what I'm saying? A lot of women, they are they are emotional. They are, they're emotional. Um, and then when, like I said earlier, when it's going against their their moral, their their own selfish morals and principles, they'll flip the scriptures to, to make it fit to their narrative. This is how wicked these women can get. You know what I'm saying? And even the Bible says that women are a weaker vessel in um in one um Peter. It says, 
Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel, and as being hearers together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. It says, as unto the weaker vessel. So it's, it's saying that the women are the weaker vessel, you know, because physic they first they they're physically weaker, and they're also um they're emotional. You know what I'm saying? Women can be emotional. I'm not I'm, like I'm not gonna sit here and say that women are um, are weaker than us spiritually. I'm not gonna say that because um, that can be far from the truth. That's far from the truth. I'm I'm seeing men out here that that are weak in spirit, and and I'm seeing women that's out here that's that's strong in spirit. You know what I'm saying? Way stronger than men in spirit. But women can be very emotional, very emotional, and and women can be led astray um, way easier than men. Way easier than men. Like, look at all all these all these like clothing companies and stuff like that. Like, y'all see that like they're always pushing these clothing companies to who the women. You know what I'm saying? Like, women are are the 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 ones that are women are the the people that these industries are are pushing merchandise on um, heavy. They're not pushing this stuff on men because they know that women are easily persuaded. It's the same thing that happened in in the, the, the um, Adam and Eve. The same thing that happened in the garden. You know what I'm saying? Satan knew that um, that um, that Eve was the weaker vessel. He knew that he he knew that he could he could persuade her. He knew that he could um, manipulate her to go and eat that <coughs> to go and eat that apple. To, I mean, not the apple, but the fruit. He knew that. You know what I'm saying? This is this is a, a huge reason why women are not supposed to be preaching the gospel, y'all. Y'all not supposed to be preaching. Y'all not supposed to be preaching, especially not to men. You know what I'm saying? Like, say if 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 you have a husband or whatever, and he's teaching you the Bible, of course you can go and and teach um other women and teach your, your children what your husband taught you. But as far as y'all going through through the Bible and trying to interpret things yourselves, no, bro, y'all can't be doing that. Y'all supposed to be learning from the saints. Y'all y'all supposed to be learning from the the men of the Most High, the men. Because I'm seeing this all the time. Women are are interpreting the Bible all crazy. Y'all are going crazy with this, bro. Y'all gotta stop this, man. Y'all not supposed to have any type of authority over men. And then for those of y'all gonna be like. Oh, it's still that for those times. All right. Well, let's see. Let's let's go to Matthew then, bro. Let's go to Matthew then, and let's see what let's see what the sun says about this. And it's gonna be some women that be like, they still not gonna listen. I didn't know it. Um, because they're because because they're continuing this hate towards black men. This is what they're doing. They they're continuing it. They, they in this truth supposedly. They in this truth, but they 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 continuing it. And 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 this is messed up, bro. Y'all can't live like that, man. Y'all can't live like that because y'all y'all still got hatred towards the men of the most high. Y'all in sin. That's that's sin, bro. Like that's that's not, like your heart is not right. A lot of y'all women, y'all, y'all hearts have waxed cold. While y'all was in this modern world, y'all your hearts have waxed cold and it's still cold. It's still frozen as ice. Towards black men. Y'all still got the hatred towards black men. But y'all check this out. Look what Yahusha is saying though, man. Like, so y'all saying this is just for this? Now in Matthew, this is this is Yahusha. He's he's talking to the Jews back then, right? This is back then. This is back then. He's talking to the Jews. Um, chapter six, verse seven. It says, "But when ye pray, use not re use not vain repetitions, as the heathen do." It's talking about how those Muslims be. They be saying the same thing over and over and over and over again. Like Yahusha. I mean, um, yeah, Yahusha. Um, and the Most High, they hear you. They hear your voice. You don't got to keep saying the same thing over and over and over again. You don't have to keep praying for the same thing over and over again to hear you guys. They know what you want before you even ask for it. You know what I'm saying? Um, as the heathens do, for for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Um, so no, but no, that was just for for them though. He, he's talking to the Jews. He was talking to the Jews of that time. This is what y'all women are saying. That's far from the truth. This this word right here that Yahushua spoke, he's talking about now too. Now too, to this day, this still this is still valid, y'all. This is still valid. This is Yahushua speaking. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's go to let's go down to um, verse one through three. It says, 
take heed that this is Yahushua speaking. This is the son speaking. This is Jesus speaking, y'all. It says, take heed that ye do not your, your alms before men to be seen of them. Otherwise, ye have no reward of your father, which is in heaven. It's talking about those people. You see them on, on like Instagram and stuff like that. They be giving out money and stuff like that. Got the camera on. <clears throat> they be going viral and stuff, giving giving like on camera, giving money to the poor and stuff like that, thinking they're going to get a reward from the most I know. You get your reward from the people that's watching. They be like, oh, oh my gosh, he's such a good person, guys. You know what I'm saying? He's such a good person. Like this, this the people that's that's looking at him. He, he's getting his award from those people. But guess what? You don't get your reward from 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 the Most High. Look, check this out, right? Because because Yahushua calls y'all hypocrites. Therefore, when thou doest thine alms, do not sound a trumpet before thee. Which is which? Is what I was just saying, don't sound a trumpet. He's saying, don't sound a trumpet. Don't be doing it in front of men to get praise from them. Um, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets um, that they may have glory of men verily I say unto you they have their reward but um, Yusha says but when thou doest alms let not thy left hand know what the right hand doeth that thine arm alms may be in secret when you when you're doing stuff like this when you're giving out to the poor when you when you're doing things from from your heart you're not supposed to put it on facebook you're not supposed to record it none of that it says do it in secret and thy father which seeth in secret himself shall reward thee openly he's talking to the jews but 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 the females y'all y'all talking like but that's from back then it don't matter by the end of this video y'all gonna y'all gonna understand bro like come on it's, it's it's no other way you have to understand this is you gotta understand this man just because just because our ancestors were 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 preaching to certain people or he was preaching at, at a certain time period or whatever it it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that it was just for that time period and i went over this before because uh uh what's his name pastor richard richard the um the youtuber that got the um church and all that crap um he he said something about that and i, I went in on him about that and then, and to this day that's that's i think that's my highest viewed um video yet that i did i got like like 6.5k views on that <clears throat> and people seeing it bro people see it like people see the truth yeah i suppose that bro because y'all can't be up here lying flipping the scriptures you know what i'm saying and i feel like people like him um, I feel like his wife is running him. You know what I'm saying? His wife got that Jezebel spirit on him, man. He don't he don't want to go home and be like, Rich, what the heck? You can't be saying like, yeah, she's one of those. You know what I'm saying? More than likely, his wife is is ruling over him. And in fact, um, he says that his wife preaches at his church. It's men all in the congregation, yo. So you got your wife. What, what does the Bible say about that? I just read it. I just read it, bro. I just read it. You know what I'm saying? Women are not supposed to have assort any authority over men. But you got your wife in the church doing it. But she's saying, oh, that's just that's just for those times. Well, what about all the other stuff that I read then? That's just for those times as well. That's what y'all saying. Are y'all nuts, bro? This is but this this is the spirit that, that women can have over a man. Look look at what happened in the in the in the garden, bro. Like men can be so 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 scary and so like take your like bro push your boxes back on bro like a lot of these men out here they got panties on bro the women are, are wearing the pants i just did a video on, on women wearing pants i just did the origin the origins of women wearing pants like this is real bro these women are wearing the pants in the house you know what i'm saying more than more than likely she she probably the one that 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 brought it up to to see if she can preach in the church she probably didn't even ask she probably just started doing it <laughs> She probably just started doing it, bro, because this is the spirit that's on these women. They want to be over men. They want to have authority over men. They want that. That's how they get their power, bro, because it's demons on them. That's demons on them. They need that. This is how they get their power. You know what I'm saying? That those these demons that are on these women, they're they're feeding off their sin. They're feeding off off of their um, they're they're feeding off of their 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 right to want to rule over men. This is how those demons are feeding off of that. They're feeding off of that. So as, as like. As, as much as y'all women are doing this, um, trying to trying to assort authority over men and trying to be over men, y'all feeding those demons that's attached to y'all. Y'all better believe that. 
that hate that y'all have towards me, y'all feeding those demons. Y'all better believe that, bro. Y'all better believe that. Let's go back to it, though. Let's go back to um, 1 Timothy. Let's go back to 1 Timothy, all right? Let's go back to it, and we about to close this out. Because I feel like by now, I, like, I had to have got my point across, right? I take that as a yes. Y'all heard, <laughs> y'all heard after I just said that, that uh, y'all heard that horn going off. <laughs> I think I got my point across. Let's go, let's go back to um, chapter two, verse eleven through fourteen, y'all. It says, like I say, this is um, this is Paul. Um, this is this is a letter from Paul going to Timothy because Timothy he was a pastor. He was preaching in the church. Um, it says. Let women let women learn in silence with all subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to assert authority over the man, but to be in silence. For Adam was first formed, then Eve, and Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. And I was about to say something too. I forgot about it already. I, while I was reading that verse, I, I something slipped in my head and I forgot it already that fast. Um, that's not for those times, man. That's not just for those times. Um, women, stop listening to other women. Like I'm, and I'm seeing this all the time. I'm seeing this, like not like with my own eyes. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm. I'm dealing with it, you know what I'm saying? Like I'll see like it, it like a woman, like a woman, I'll see a woman going to another woman before she goes to a man to hear a word. You know what I'm saying? But but Yahoo is working through the men, you know what I'm saying? Yahoo like you like the men are the like I said earlier, the men are the the direct source to the most high. But they'd rather go to a, a woman about verses like this that she's first of all, the women are already feminists anyway. They already hate black men, so of course they're gonna mislead you. They have spirits on them. They haven't been delivered yet. Of course, they're gonna they're gonna mislead you. You don't go to women about scriptures like that. You go to the you got to, you go to the, the men of the Most High. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially like if if you know like you can just tell when somebody has the rule out. You can just tell it. You can tell it. You go to that man. You go to that person that has the rule out. The Holy Spirit. You go to him. You don't go. You don't not all brothers, but like yo, you can tell the brothers that you can go to. Like he's gonna have the answer. Women, y'all gotta get rid of y'all pride. Y'all gotta get rid of y'all pride, man. A lot of y'all not even married. It's just reasons why y'all not married. <laughs> this is one. Y'all don't y'all don't want to listen to men. Y'all don't want to listen to men. Y'all wondering why all these men going overseas to to find wives because y'all still, bro. Even like the men in the truth. Like I just seen this video. Mark the messenger. He was doing. He had a guest on there. And he was like, he's in the truth, but. <coughs> He not even married to no wives out here. He not even trying to. He said he's he's going to get his him a wife overseas because these women have been defiled, bro. They hate black men. They hate us just like everybody else. They hate us, bro. You know. So when it comes to that, when it comes to that verse, they gonna flip it. They gonna flip it because, like I said, they have that Jezebel spirit over them, bro. It's still over them. That that dominating spirit. They want to dominate over men. Even when I was, even when I, like, um, for instance, right when I was when I was a, a wicked man, like I, I done dealt with so many females that had that dominating, that dominating spirit on them, bro. Like they just have to rule rule over men. They got to, they got to do it. And and like now when I look at it on hindsight, it's the demons that feed off of that. I'm telling you, bro. This is man. Come on, bro. But. After all I said, women, if y'all don't understand it by now, I don't know what to tell you, man. Like, you're doomed. You're doomed. If you keep that mindset, if y'all keep listening to these women, like I say, especially when it comes to scriptures like that, that I just read, y'all are doomed. You know what I'm saying? Um, y'all hatred for men has to go. It has to go. Um, y'all need to respect black men because there's going to be a time that come to pass when y'all are going to need us. I promise y'all that y'all are going to need us. It's, it's going to be a time that's going to come to pass. This world is about to get so wicked when y'all are going to need us. And we're not going to be nowhere around to save y'all, bro. Because y'all not listening to us now. Why is we, bro, why is we going to um, save y'all and and y'all not even listening to us now? 
You know what I'm saying? Luckily for people like me, I have grace. You know what I'm saying? Everybody not going to have grace for y'all, though. Everybody not going to have grace for y'all. Y'all have fallen out of grace with a lot of men because of y'all mindset. And y'all got to get out of that, yo. Y'all got to get out of that because that's going to be y'all demise, y'all mindset and y'all pride. Satan was the first person with pride, bro. That pride that y'all have, y'all got to get... <coughs> that got to go. Y'all can't get to heaven with pride. When I, when I was filled with the Holy Spirit for eight hours straight in that hotel room... That was, that was the first thing that Yahuwah killed was my pride, my ego and my pride. Y'all women still have a lot of pride in this, that so-called in the truth. For, for some people that have supposedly been saved, which a lot of y'all haven't been saved because I can see it, good trees don't bear bad fruit. This is what Yahushua said. You know, um, a lot of y'all that have not been saved, you know, a lot of y'all still need to be delivered. Um, it's still hope for y'all. Y'all can still be delivered. Y'all got to seek the Holy Spirit. The, whole, the Holy Spirit is going to lead y'all to all truth. You know, these uh, these other women that's teaching y'all, these, these doctrines of devils are not going to be able to deceive y'all anymore. You have to receive the Holy Spirit. You got to. You can't just be reading the Bible because a lot of people that are reading the Bible carnally, um, they're not reading it with, with understanding. It's not no understanding at all. Like I said, like y'all y'all are saying that this was for just that time y'all not reading the bible with understanding I wonder if I forgot anything man I probably said enough I probably said enough man I just, I just pray that y'all women stop this crap and open your eyes bro like I said um, us men we're not y'all enemy we're not y'all enemy you know <clears throat> We're trying to come together. This is what we're trying to do. We're trying to come together. We're in the truth now. You know, we're trying. We're all trying to come together. But it's it's women like this that are <clears throat> going by these type of doctrines that are stopping us from coming together because they don't listen. You know, they don't listen. They're not taking any direction from men, and they they're making it hard. You know, what I'm saying they're argumentative, and they're, they're making it hard for 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 the, the men and the women to come. And, and the truth to come together we're not supposed to be like that y'all you know we're supposed to be all on one mind one accord right now the women are supposed to be feminine the women are supposed to be submissive the women are supposed to be modest they're supposed to dress modest um women y'all got a lot of work to do y'all got a lot of work to do man yeah, this is sad this is sad that y'all that y'all in this truth supposedly and y'all still have a hatred to men to where y'all y'all let y'all let the enemy in to the point where y'all y'all go so far to the wickedness to where y'all flipping scriptures to make it sound like y'all are able to assort authority over men and y'all y'all are able to 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 be over men this is what y'all thinking in y'all heads because Satan got a hold of y'all. That's what happened. Y'all got to rebuke him. Because it's far from the truth. It's not the truth, y'all. Women, that's not the truth. And that's logic. That's even logic. Y'all know, y'all know, dang well, y'all not supposed to have authority over men. Come on now. I, I, I cannot just, I can't wrap my head around how y'all think that. Like that's real. That's how. That's really how. How much Satan will deceive a person. You cannot, yo. That's why you got to keep that armor on, yo. Because man, saying that, oh, that's just for that time. It's crazy. That's crazy. And women, there's blood on y'all hands. For y'all women that's out here teaching these other women that. Because as you can see, like, bro, it ain't other than <clears throat> other than, than Richard, that, that pastor that be on YouTube because he's being ruled over a woman. Yeah, you're, you're not going to hear no other man tell y'all that, oh, that's just for that time. Go ask any other man. Go ask any other man. Right now, go ask any other man. Show him this scripture. And, and ask them, was this just for that time? Is this just for that time period? Or is this valid today as well? Ask them that and see what a man says. Not what a woman says, because all these women are feminists out here. 
all these women are defiled. They're defiled. Even the women in the truth. I ain't gonna say all of them, but most of them, they're defiled. You know what I'm saying? So, like, y'all, bro, listen to the men. That's all I can say. Listen to the men. The men are not gonna lead y'all in the wrong direction, yo. The, I'm, talking, I'm really talking about the real ones. Not, not the ones that are still defiled and, and out here, you know what I'm saying, um, perverted and all. No, don't don't ask them. Go to the real ones that, that really know the word and that's really being led by the spirit. Y'all know, know the ones. Come on, man. Like I said, when, when, uh, most women are more spiritual than men. Y'all know. Y'all can feel that. Y'all can feel when, when y'all speaking with a, a real man of the most high. Y'all know it. Y'all are smart. And also, y'all are very spiritual. Y'all, a lot of y'all are way spiritual than the men, way more spiritual than the men. I ain't even mean for this video to be that long, man. But I'm very passionate about this because I'm I'm so sick of this, y'all. I'm so sick of y'all women with this, man. This fem this feminism movement that y'all still got going on, and y'all supposed to be saved and in the truth. This is why I'm so passionate about this because, like, what are y'all doing? This is ridiculous. And I'm, <clears throat> a lot, I know a lot of women, they're going to look at this and they're going to feel like I'm attacking them. I'm not attacking y'all. I'm telling y'all what y'all need to hear. What y'all think I'm up here to, uh, to make y'all laugh and stuff like that? Absolutely not. I'm up here to do the most size work. I don't care if y'all cry. I don't care if y'all getting y'all emotions and y'all get mad. This is what y'all need to hear. Oh, well. Y'all need to be reproved. This is what needs to happen. Y'all need to be rebuked. But anyways, love y'all. Talk to y'all later. I'm out.